And whereas the Bastrop County Long-Term Recovery Team has worked tirelessly over the past 18 months to assist uninsured and underinsured low-income individuals and families with recovery from the wildfire. And whereas the Bastrop County Long-Term Recovery Team has coordinated over 350,000 volunteer hours on projects on over 1,400 properties. And has completed the rebuilding of 50 homes and the 50th home having been dedicated on March 8, 2013. And an additional 18 more homes under construction. This is absolutely a magnificent day for the Bass Rock County Long-Term Recovery Team. We had set a goal last year to build 50 homes in a year. We had absolutely no clue how we were going to do that. It's been a long, long road. It's been a journey, you yeah. know. We bought a building kind of like this, and we were spending more and more time in it as it was getting more and more complete. and. Then we were going to move in that Labor Day weekend totally. You know, a fireman came uh, along and they said I had to get out, and we, and we had to, you know, we had to leave because of the fire. And I was just fortunate to get out of here in time. You know, we felt like we had put all of our thoughts into it. You know, our memories too. This firestorm was just that, a storm. The clouds, it was making its own rain, it was making its own lightning, um, it was making its own wind. We were getting little wind funnels. During that time, we saw things that in fire training schools that we've been told would never happen. I came into the front of Tahitian, went straight to my house, and when I drove up, it was rain and fire. Things happen that we've never in our lives seen, probably we'll never see again, I hope. Even a year later and more, we'd say, oh, can you go get the vice grips? And, and it's, oh, they burned up, yeah. you know, or, or where's that dress? Oh, it burned up, uh -huh. <laughs> you know? And it, it's just hard to wrap your mind around what all you lost. Long term came up and they said, are y'all ready to have a, a real home now? <laughs> you know, we are. Our light would be very dim at the end of our tunnel right now if it weren't for them. And thanks to them, our light just got a little brighter. We had set a goal last year of building 50 homes in a year. We did it. Uh, we're here in Bastrop County to join on a happy day. And in Argentina, I learned a song that says, uh, in este día feliz, en este santo lugar, quiero tener un encuentro con Dios. And so it says it's on this happy day, in this holy place, we look forward to an encounter with God. There is nothing that I've ever envisioned in my life that has been so giving as these group of people are. The, the long-term recovery, the long-term commitment that they've made, and the Mennonites, the people who have come to work in, with me. These people are here giving their time, their salaries. They give up every, every year. Every year they give up three months or a month of their salary to come and do something, give their time for somebody they don't even know. The workmanship of the, the quality of work that they're doing, nobody does that. It's unbelievable. I mean, in the, the job, the way they do things. And they talk with them about it and they said, let me tell you what the difference is. The difference is we don't, we're not getting paid to do this. We're here because we want to be here. This is just a handful of the volunteers that helped on this, this project. 
Um, most of them are from Michigan. We've got one Ohio guy and one guy from Canada. And um, so they, they tend to stay for minimum two weeks, usually a month is kind of how they rotate in and out. And um, some stay a little longer, but that's how most of them come for about four weeks. Let it please you to bless the house of your servant that it may continue before you forever. For you, O Lord God, have spoken it, and with your blessing, let the house of your servant be blessed forever. I have had the honor of blessing many of my congregation's houses. And this house is part of the community. These are the friends that the Lord has given, that the Lord has given. He said that we are so happy and thankful to all of you for being here. Thank you to everyone that participated on this. We are so glad you were here. Thank you to all the warm cares, <coughs> to all the volunteers, and for everything we got. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What does this home mean to you oh, and your son? It means the world. It means that we can come back home. I mean, these people build with their hearts. That means a whole lot. And it also makes the home even, even better. Couldn't ask for a better blessing. Thank you. Thank you for the, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. The rate at which we're seeing the need is not slowing down. What is slowing down is the funding. And so the, our only limitation at this point is funding. So my name is Carl Duby. I'm the project uh, coordinator for Bastrop County with Mennonite Disaster Service. This is our second year to be working in Bastrop County. Our plan is now, our hope is that we will be coming back uh, next fall and winter for the 2013-2014 season and uh, build some more homes. So right now the only missing piece for our plans for next year is uh, to have funds to be able to buy materials. Mennonite Disaster Service is a volunteer organization and so we provide all the labor to build the homes um, for no cost to the homeowner nor to the long-term recovery team. We pay for our own expenses, but they need to come up with the materials. We have about 45 families that are, are still on our waiting list and the funding just isn't there right now for those families to be able to rebuild their homes. If you would like to donate to the Bastrop County Long-Term Recovery Team, you can visit our website at bcltrt.org and there's a donate button right on the website. When we were trying to clear the yard out and dig down to try to plant grass, we kept finding pieces of this thing that were basically part of our house. This piece right here was part of a pendant light. We had three pendant lights over the bar. This was all that was left, these kind of pieces. It'll have its story to go on long after the house is gone. I only hope that uh, you all can be blessed As much as we have been. Thank you. <laughs> Not with the circumstances, but with the um, love. We go on a trip like this every year somewhere to help those at, you know, a disaster area or somewhere that just needs help. Once you, once you start putting walls up, then you can start seeing a house. It was hard to really believe it was happening. With them starting these walls this week, getting them all up and everything, it was like, yeah, it's got to be a house, you know. Someone had told us we definitely would be in by Christmas. Hopefully by December, we will finally, for the first time and since the fires, live in a house by ourselves that we can call our own.
my heart and on my lips a song, even though, Lord, I don't understand. My ways, my shell are not your ways. My thoughts are higher than mine. Let me lead you each step of this long, weary day. Let me clap.